So, um, Alante Daniel, yes, I have another question for you. Please ask. Me. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about this situation that is happening in Uganda and Kenya concerning the homosexuality and LGBTQ, where in Kenya and Uganda, they are saying that, listen, this is not really an issue for our people and it's foreigners that are coming into our country and making it this an issue. Now, this hasn't been really an issue here in Guinea-Bissau no, no, no. at all. No. So, what would you say to those people who would say that Guinea-Bissau and in particular Bolanta uh, must open their arms to homosexuality because if you don't you are violating human rights what would you say to that okay um i, I can say that um in guinea bissau well, balanta is a very nice people i can say because we're a majority in this country but very humble people we welcome everyone to this country but we want everybody to be under the law of guinea bissau Whatever is the law of Guinea-Bissau, we are among the people that try to enforce the law in Guinea-Bissau. And we welcome everyone that wants to come and live with us, especially our descendants from the United States. There's no problem for us to tell them, okay, this is the rule that Guinea-Bissau wants to. Even the United States, you go to the United States under the, under the United States law. There's no bad thing over there, but in Guinea-Bissau, Homosexuality is not a problem here. Even if you say the guinea are about that, he will tell you, I don't know this thing. Have you seen such a thing in guinea No. Who don't know those things? So these people who are saying Guinea-Bissau must change its laws to allow same-sex marriage. I don't think the guinea will accept this one because it's going to be something very strange for us. They can accept this later on, but this time, if you tell the, the men in Guinea-Bissau, according to our culture, it, have, it has never happened. It's going to be something very stranger for them. Yes. But if this is going to happen here, it will run a lot of ink writing, trying to do many campaigns to convince the people to accept it. But it will run, run a long time mm -hmm. because it's going to be something very stranger for, for them. Even I am talking like that. I have never seen this. Even I will not think that this one is happening. In so if someone is homosexual in Guinea-Bissau, and says, I want to marry my same-sex partner. I want to do it, but um, I can't do it. All right, so it's not allowed in Guinea-Bissau. Nobody will perform the ceremony. Mm -hmm. It won't be recognized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you are violating my human rights. Yes, you can say that under the United States law. You know, that's under the United States law. You know, the, what, what I want you people to understand from the United States, the level of democracy in the United States is not the same as the one in Guinea. According to our culture, you have to add our culture when you are thinking about the human rights or, or about violating the, 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 the right of the people. Balanta people, Balanta especially the people Balanta, they will never ever allow you to marry the men of the sex, the same sex, because that's gonna be something very strange. Even I'm against the law, against the tradition. Do you think it's fair for outsiders to then say that Balanta culture is violating human rights? They Do you think that's fair? It's not fair because if they say that, that's that's far away from being a law or tradition of Balanta in Guinea. That's not a tradition of Balanta. Balanta has never known what is a um, homosexual. They, they don't know even this name in tradition. They, they will ask how the same the people of the same sex marry each other. They will wonder. Even when they say, oh, this is a lie, it's impossible. Somebody will not accept it by, even though he see that this man want to marry, say, how? Because they're concerned about the two sexes. They're the same. So if, if other parts of the world are doing this, okay, if other parts of the world are doing it, and they were to impose this foreign thinking on Balanta, 
How do you think it will affect the Balanta communities? It will affect the Balanta community because um, the youth in com Balanta community will bring the thought that is far away from being their own tradition. However, in this world, it's a world of changing, it's a world of interchange. With something come from other country, first of all, we have to do the campaign. When it become a law of Guinea-Bissau, then everybody should be under that law. That's not a problem. Balanta cannot do the, the thing that the, the, the Guinea-Bissau um, constitution have already approved, then we have to follow it. But if the Guinea-Bissau law, um, didn't government didn't, or constitution is not part of it, then Balanta will not accept it.